All right, guys. So the last few hours before I start getting ready to uh, head off to the Philippines. Um, I've got to say, this is the first time I've ever been anxious about traveling. Um, I think this one is a case of the delays relating to the paperwork has been the main problem that we've had uh, because you're out, you don't have control of it. You know, at the end of the day, they go, oh, there's a spelling mistake here. And it's like, yeah, but it's one of your guys that did it in the first place. It's not as if it's uh, we did it or something or defacing our passports. You've actually spelt it wrong. Um, so it's a little bit anxious. Um, it's going to be strange to be back in the Philippines after three years as well, because obviously some of the people that we that uh, we haven't seen for a while, you, you know, some of their kids are, are much older. Some of the little kids that you hang around are probably teenagers now and things like that. It's going to be an interesting uh, visit. On top of that, he's traveling out of Spain, which is another interesting thing as well. Because one of the problems you've got is, although we have airports near us, and they're, cla they're classed as international, but they're more regional, um, and um, regionalized in the EU. So though they're, they're more EU based, so a lot of the flights like Alicante is mainly coming in from the UK and I think about 48% of the tourists for Benidorm for example are British and then the, the majority, the next majority is the Spanish, then there's like 3% for France or whatever so you can't really say that most of the flights there are probably going globally because they're not. Um, so the problem I've had is like I've got to go to not Mercia, where am I going? Not Mer <laughs> Madrid. Okay. I've got to go to Madrid to pick up the flight, but um, like the, in the UK, you normally pick up the bus. So now bear in mind, I've not traveled on the bus here yet at all. So that'll be an interesting thing to do at midnight tonight, is actually hopping on a bus and finding the bus to Madrid. In fact, we might actually go and do that now, so I know exactly where I'm going. Um, obviously, got to get a taxi to the bus station, the bus station to Madrid. And the first thing someone's going to ask me is why didn't I get the bus, uh, the plane from Alicante to Madrid. The answer to that is a 14 hour stopover, yet the bus is only six hours because by the time I get to the other end, I could check in and off and go on the flight. Um, what we've got the other way is quite simply I'd, I'd arrive and be sat there for 14 hours because the flight's not due. So yeah, it's just the, the fact that the coordination between that and Catholic Pacific is not ideal. Um, I'm going to be flying into Hong Kong. I've got to admit, I do like Cathay Pacific. I do find they're a professional airline. I, the only grumble I've ever had with them was um, relating to pre-booking seats, which I think was, I think it was sixty-four pounds a seat or something. Because um, when we were coming to France, I said, "Well, can you make sure that we're, our seats are together?" And they're like, "Well, you could just pay the, the fee." I'm like, "What? That's like..." It's like sit over 60 pounds a seat just to say we can sit next to each other. No, oh, thank you. Um, I'll tell you what, somebody else could have my kids screaming at them on the flight. I'm, I'm happy with that. Just put me somewhere else. And then obviously we'll set, end up sitting together anyway, which, which was what I was after. But anyway. Um, so I'm just sort of prepping now. I'm just going to go pick April up from work. April's been busy. April's been booking all the flights and going through all the different air routes. Um, trying to tie everything together because it's a little bit more complex than a than I would be flying on my own because I'm bringing April's mother back so her flights have to coordinate with that and one of the things we are going to do is actually drive uh, to Madrid uh, when we take April's mother's back we'll go we'll, we'll drive in the car um, rather than her having to deal with the bus on her own because that's that's what that's probably why I'm more anxious because April's mother is not um, she's no spring chicken. She, 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 I'm gonna say she's getting on a bit. I mean, in, in the West, it, she wouldn't be getting on a bit. But I do think she's she's worked quite hard her life, and she can feel it. Let's let's just leave it at that. So from that point of view, I want to make sure she has an easy trip this time because then next time she should better travel alone because we we've, we've got um, 
Cathay Pacific doing a bit of disabled access for her so that she's got somebody at the airport that will take her off the Philippines flight because we'll come out of Cebu into Hong Kong, Hong Kong straight over to uh, Spain into Madrid, pick up the bus in Madrid and back to Torrebeca. Um, but at least once she's done this journey, bear in mind she's never been abroad before, she's never been out of the Philippines. This is quite a major thing for her. Um, you got to remember, we lost last year. We lost April's mother and my father as well. So, the, uh, sorry, <laughs> we lost my mother and April's father last year. So, the this trip's quite important to uh, for April and and her mother. Um, and also, you sort of when you lose people, you sort of re recognise the value of people a lot more. Um, so this is quite a important trip for us because once it, once this one's done because this one's obviously hit me heavily in the pocket it's cost me over 2,000 euros the next trip will be much much cheaper because let's put it this way if I'm going to spend a fair bit of flying backwards and forwards what I might do is simply go to Madrid pick April's mother up from the airport or just get her a better flight um, Oh, she can fly into Alicante and have that 14 hour stop over. There is no easy routes on this, this is the bizarre thing. We spent about a week looking at different airports, different routes, trying to find the best one. Um, and this was the best we could find. So, yeah, I think next time it'll be much easier on April's mother to travel, so she can travel on her own next time. Save me having to fly out there uh, just to bring her back. But I've got a lot of stuff to do in the Philippines, gotta go and meet up. Hopefully with the Mayor of Cebu, um, a few people we know relating to councillors, other organisations and things, and tie in some bits and pieces I'm doing relating to our um, environmental power plants. Um, so it's not going to be a wasted journey anyway, but I don't see it as a wasted journey. I always see things as a bit of an adventure, but yeah, just going to get April now. Then we'll do the last flight checks, make sure we've got everything packed, charge all my cameras and everything up, get everything loaded, and then we should be good to go. And then spend a bit of time with the kids this afternoon before I fly off tonight. All right, catch you guys later. I'll catch you on the bus.